Okay, so to be honest, I don't even know why I have the lavalier mic up right now because I sound pretty horrible. Um, just want to get apologies out of the way. I have been fighting a flu all week, but um, I wanted to make an extra video because while spending some quality time at home, I came up with some extra ideas to add to that little Gojira ripoff thing that I did last week. So I am going to show you guys what that is right now. Let's get started. So while listening back to it this morning, I started hearing a, um, a harmony idea. Actually, I was playing back the idea while buying a, uh, a binaural beat <laughs> like I was shopping for binaural beats and I think there was this one sustained note that was playing on the binaural beat while I was uh, previewing it while simultaneously listening to the original idea that I wrote down so I was hearing like hey this weird synergy happening so from that I got an idea for a harmony that I wanted to get down before I forgot so here's the um, the harmony actually let me find it yeah, so freshly recorded today, so it sounds awful, but. So, yeah, you get the idea. So I'm going to do that on guitar for very obvious reasons. Maybe later I will do it on vocals, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the session once again. Nothing has been changed since our last visit together. And uh, yeah, just for the sake of revisiting, let's hear everything again. Okay, so now having heard this again after a couple of days, uh, right off the bat, I want to give some tender love and care to this section right here because I feel like the energy drops off here because there's so much of this. Then again, maybe I'm... Uh, I'm only listening through one speaker right now, so maybe I am wrong in that, but let's check this out. I feel like I just want to get some consistency going on. Yeah. Maybe it'll sound a little bit better. I'm just gonna get rid of this altogether. Actually, maybe not. <clears throat> oh, I had that highlighted too. Whoops, I almost killed everything just then. All right, things that you do when you're sick. 
So we'll just mute you guys for now in case I want to use them later. Um, so we'll, let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and boom. All right, so I need a one, two, three. Yeah, so that'll do. I will just simply select these two guys. Make sure I do not have you selected or you and copy just this and this to uh, paste in here. So we'll paste that. And what I can do here is get rid of you. And what is this? I don't like that. Actually, maybe I do. Maybe I do. You know what's funny is even if the camera wasn't running, I'd probably still be talking to myself like this. And now you know. And if we, let's see how that sounds. God, I sound sexy today. So that I'm going to mute because it's probably not that realistic to recover that fast from like a because he's hitting two he's hitting a, a crash and a china at the same time so it'd be like so i want to give him a realistic i want to give him some time to recover because this is probably why no drummers want to work with me <laughs> uh Yeah, just a little bit of breathing room between that and then, so that and then that. That as well. I don't know if that's, it's gonna be a little bit ambitious there. Again, I'm not a drummer, but I'm trying to think as much like a drummer as I possibly can. It's kind of like step one, let your imagination run wild. And then after the fact, just go back and edit and Bring it back to reality as much as you can. Um, I have high standards for what I look for in a uh, in a real drummer. So when I write, I try to write pretending I have access to the best drummer in the world. And fortunately, with like all the stuff from like you know Tune Track and Ugratone and all those other things, like you do have access to the best drummers in the world. Now. The next step is get them to play your stuff with you live. That's the next step. But anyway, let's hear this coming in from this part. You hear it. I almost want to do like a piano overdub. And then maybe I will add a, I don't know, maybe a fill later or something like that. But either way, <clears throat> I'll pick at it as time goes on. This section altogether is going to be what I want to have that, um, harmony idea like that's where I want the the harmony idea to come in so it's just gonna be like a D D D like one of those things you know just a D D D a D D D D D D and uh, I don't know if I want to keep it repeating each time but well let's just get it down first and see how it sounds that's kind of the thing that I want to hit home too is that if the idea is just in here you know you can speculate all day and you can ask for advice from people all day but until you actually like try it out and you know record it and then listen back to it then you'll get the real feedback that you need so 
you know, when in doubt, just record everything and then listen back to it because then you'll have an objective, honest, you know, answer. So that's what I'm going to do. Bye. Okay, so we're back and I am going to mess around with the guitar overdubs. Did I say overdubs? Oh my God. Um, <coughs> right now so command D duplicate track with the same settings because uh, I'm lazy I'll just call you OD and <clears throat> for record low latency mode yeah so actually I want to get a, a decent lead guitar overdub kind of sound going on so I am going to see what we got here in the modern metal pack here actually I might want to try a clean sound let's try this so I gotta get that fixed my goodness and these strings uh, <clears throat> are a bit old, so. I think those are the notes. Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do is just loop it around. Uh, might try it a couple of tones just to see, but let's get the click in. In fact, it might be easier just to <sighs> also get a chair without um, arms on it. I had one, but it got stolen from me by a member of the household. And the, there is a, uh, a chair famine, you know, a, a, a straight back chair famine. No more of those chairs left to be found in the household. So yeah, I may do with this thing. I want to take these things off or, you know, invest in a proper stool, I suppose. Could use a Swiss ball. That might be nice. Maybe. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, let's just try it first. Whoops. So already right off the bat, listening to it as I was playing it, it doesn't work over every chord change to my ear. Like it does, but I don't quite like it. So I'm probably just gonna keep it over the G. The G. So Yeah. That'd be cool. Weird. So be like me do do. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four. That's kind of cool. You guys probably can't even hear that right now, can you? Um, yeah, well, <clears throat> I'll I'll throw in the lead, like the clean stuff later. But what is a good cleanish 
not clean, but like smooth lead guitar tone. I actually like Devin's uh, lead guitar sound. So I'm going to go to the Metal Guitar Gods one. Uh, easy Mix 2 pack. Where is it? Epic lead, yes. So the Devon Town's an epic lead. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah, it feels kind of like a slurry kind of sloppy, like that thing. Dogs! Yeah. Beat distraction. That is totally not what I meant to do, but I think it works. Um, actually, let's hear that back. I wonder if I can get kind of like a uh, weaving in and out. I don't know if this qualifies necessarily as like counterpoint, but because I can't use my logical brain right now, because I'm not in that headspace. But let's. Uh, Actually, I did that wrong. Man, I am like all over the place right now today. Thanks, Flu. So. Might be cool. You guys can hear that. That's pretty loud, actually. create a new one now because <laughs> I'm just gonna play the whole thing before I forget all right so one two three four okay So let's see if we can. Okay, so. Yeah. 
Is somebody here? Anyway, okay. Um... Cool. Let's listen to that real quick. This is already starting to sound more Faith No More-esque to me for some reason. Like the real thing era. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but that's what my imagination is telling me. Okay. <clears throat> This is just for reference purposes. It's not perfect right now, but it's just more for me to, to you know, hear something. Uh, I feel like I might want to save that, but. Maybe. Like straight me Yeah, and then Okay, so here's what we got so far. Same repeating thing again, just the knee, knee, knee. Just feel like it's it's barren right now. Man, it's already been fifteen minutes. <laughs> start so and conduct as you say things <laughs> uh, so <coughs> oh god 
Sorry, lovelier Mike. Sorry, everybody. That's kind of cool. That little tail at the end. So let's do that. All right, take a quick break. Quick break. Okay, back in the session, and now after listening to the back and forth between these two sections, I notice that there's a bit of a double bass that ends here, and then it goes back to the stompiness. <laughs> It would be cool to kind of have that build up continue along these lines here. So I think I wanna, I think I wanna. In fact, when I just focus on that way, we can do this. Uh, Actually, I kind of want to maintain that same velocity. What we got here? 23, 21, 23, 22, 23, 22. All right. I'm going to do this. Because uh, it's the same thing here. So here's what I do I do this here. I move everything here. Maybe move you guys down one. Two as well, and then paste you guys. And even just to keep the consistency from the original groove, I will get rid of these guys. Makes a little bit of a difference. And then I will do the same thing here. There, and bring you up. I got a cough. I'm gonna hold it in, <coughs> and uh, same thing with you guys. <coughs> Love lyric mic test. Uh, let's see. Same thing here, and safely move you guys out of the way. Actually, maybe later I'll mess with the velocities, but when you do this stuff, you tend to have to mess with the velocities less because you're retaining the original performances from the previous performance. Yeah. Allow myself to introduce myself. And all right, so let's hear how that sounds actually. So we got the build up. So there's that double bass like that quicker. Uh, sounds like 30 second notes, maybe it's 16th notes. Yeah, 16th notes. Uh, I actually want to bring that in sooner. So what I'm going to do here is copy you. And uh, what would it be like? <laughs> So maybe bring it in here. So bring you guys down. <coughs> uh, actually, get rid 
at you guys too. Somebody might be home. I don't know. And let's hear how that sounds. So. The dogs make it. For sure. So maybe. So. And I want. More energy here now. And then maybe add a fill right here. So, yeah, I could just do it by hand. You just copy. These dogs are going to be relentless. But it's something. I'm gonna go calm the dogs down. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what we got so far. It's something. Um, still very rough, as you can see, but, you know, considering I just started out with this melody idea and this came from it, is pretty cool. And I was not expecting that. And I think that's the key to a lot of this sort of stuff, too. Obviously, you need to have some experience, but with that, just kind of trust that stuff is going to come out the longer you kind of get out of your own way. If that makes sense. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.